Papa, Papa Claude. Uh, serial number, what? 11,864. Probably made around 1970, 71, when the guys were doing ice shows and touring with big bands and they wanted big horns. Well, this is it. Uh, 468 bore through the valve section and 464 choke right here at the bell tail stub. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and not, not only that, but to give a kind of a, you know, a little historic credence here, which I don't think you go, you'll be able to see, but right, let me see if we can get it just right. Yeah, I can see maybe the G right there. But in this little ferrule, back in there, is stamped C G. It's not coming out very good. It's very hard to see, but you can see it. Pull back, and it's right there. Anyhow, they didn't stamp them all CG. It was right after they left uh, the Burbank plant. And then uh, LA, and then uh, Anaheim. And so they're barely carrying on that tradition. Um, so these horns, this is probably one of the ones that um, they made uh, from a regular 6X bell and then strapped. Uh, and by strap, they had this uh, sandpaper belt type thing. And they strapped them thin because that's the way the guys wanted them. They were doing Claude Gordon um, students and shows that Claude had gotten on them. And so this is uh, one from that era. And it's an exquisite shape. Few little, maybe a guy's ring uh, right in here. You can see like a little bit of, yeah, there you go. A little bit of silver deterioration. It's got uh, the original uh, um, third slide stop screws. It's got a third slide uh, water key as well as the tuning slide water key. It's very clean inside. That's what the tuning slide looks like. You very rarely see them this, this old and look this nice. Let's see what's going on in here. I just noticed something. Could be a little booger. Yep, it looks like a booger. Anyhow, uh, well, just a minor little chip actually. Looks like they got it really thin. I can see it now. Very small. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. It's not a big deal. But in full disclosure, I'll let you know. And yes, I have my Lafrique on here. This one happens to be solid silver with gold plate. Here's the one that I have in my sample boxes. Wow, what a sound this makes.